Hello, this is Jim Hanrahan from Charlotte, North Carolina, and today I will be doing a video blog on social justice. The first question that I am tasked with asking is, what is my own personal golden rule of counseling? And I, I think it dovetails nicely with my personal philosophy in life, and that is to listen with empathy. That is uh, something, that is how I was raised, and I, I understand that that's probably what most people who are asked this question are going to say, but it, it is, I, I believe it's the cornerstone of being a good counselor, is we have to be able to step outside of our own worldview and perspective and put ourselves in our client's place to best serve them. So we we have to have that ability to step outside, which is so important. In uh, the Crethar and Winteroud article from 2012, they say two of the values associated with social justice uh, model are openness to change and self-transcendence, which openness to change, I, I, I think, is pretty self-explanatory. That is, you know, the world's ever-evolving, and we, we need to uh, understand that and move with it. Uh, self-transcendence uh, in their view, refers to valuing others and treating others in a manner that is in their best interest, uh, as well as acknowledging and understanding one's common connection with others. And I, I think that pretty what, well sums it up, that these are the things that as we go through this journey of being a counselor, we have to be open to the changes that are in the world. I mean, things move with technology and, and the world shrinking every day, that we have to be ready for that change. And with that, to be self-transcendent, to um, understand the people that are coming into our world every day and being able to assist them. It just uh, could not be more important. Um, uh, next question is, how can I participate in self-care while being an advocate? And uh, I really actually like what Melchior and uh, Gomez Bean, 2018, have to say in terms of, as an advocate, some of the things that you have to do. And I, I think it talks more about the dynamics of avoid, engage, and deflect. So uh, avoid is basically when you're, when you're talking to somebody and... Uh, that you might not like what uh, they're saying and you, you just kind of have to choose your battles when engaging in these kind of dialogues. Um, if you choose to engage, that is where you are standing up for your beliefs against opposing uh, viewpoints and you are simply trying to, in a, in a very congenial manner, uh, explain to people that this is where you stand and uh, not back down from it. And then there's always deflection, which is not necessarily the easy way out, but it's basically saying, eh, "Hey, let's let's talk about baseball instead of uh, instead of this stuff." So, but I I think as a matter of trying to preserve yourself, you know, you're being an advocate, you're trying to be out there, and you're trying to help people. Uh, it's it's very important that uh, you you have these tools at your disposal, so that uh, when you're just tired and you don't want to talk, that you you know how to segue out of an argument. And then when you you are strong and you're able to advocate, you know, you you really jump into it with the with the engage. Uh, talking about um, an action that I'm willing to take towards social justice and to preface that I'm going to uh, read something by Mother Teresa here who's very near and dear to my heart who says that everybody today seems to be in such a terrible rush anxious for greater developments and greater riches and so on so that children have very little time for their parents parents have very little time for each other and in the home begins the disruption of the peace of the world and I, I think that uh, why this is appropriate to um an action that I'm willing to take towards social justice is that I believe that this starts at home. Um, I know with my daughters, I try to educate them and keep their eyes open to the world. When I'm engaged with my friends, I try to, I stand my ground. I absolutely, if they say something that I, that I feel is quite frankly ignorant, I challenge them on it. And I, I think that we, of course, we can go out into the world and we can get in, get in front of a crowd of people and talk about social justice and change and that's uh, that's a wonderful thing but I'm I'm more of a personal person and I I, I believe in trying to impact one-on-one uh, -on -one or in, in small groups and I believe that if I can work to engage my peer group and my family and to educate them I, I just feel that that is inevitably going to help affect change and I, 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 I could not be more passionate about that. Um, so that's, that's where I stand on that. And thank you very much for listening today. And uh, we will talk again soon.